Michael, what is an ETF? Well, an ETF sounds like a very complicated thing. It's basically a very simple thing. Let's start off by just, just actually talk about the acronym, ETF. It is an exchange traded fund. It is a fund that is listed on the exchange and it trades like a share. It can either track an index or a commodity. Say, for instance, I'm an investor and I don't have much time and information to be able to pick up stock that are performing very well in the market. So instead of me identifying good shares, I rather maybe own the market. So the ETF, an index can be created that actually tracks the entire market. So once the index is actually created, then an ETF, which is a fund, can then be created to mimic that index. So as an investor, by just buying one security or one share or one ETF, it gives me an exposure into the, the entire market. Say, for instance, I want to own commodities, and I understand very well in South Africa, I mean, there are various regulations that prevent individuals to own commodities. So one of the best ways to actually own commodities and individuals is actually own an ETF. So in other words, an ETF can be created to actually give an, an investor an exposure into the, the spot performance price of a particular commodity that, that I would like to invest in. Within our exchange rate funds, we've got commodities, which is basically, I think, currently our, our the largest ETF in terms of the AUM. Uh, and commodities are actually issued under the product called actually New Gold. Now, New Gold is a company that is listed on the JSC, which was basically formed with the main objective to issue uh, commodity-linked ETFs. <coughs> so within the company itself, we actually have about three different ETFs. One is called New Gold, which was the first ETF that was launched uh, by the company. And then the second one is called uh, New Platinum. And then the third one is called uh, a Palladium ETF. And therefore, so how this the products are structured, they are structured in a way that they are actually designed to give investors a direct exposure into the spot performance uh, price of the underlying commodities. So they are actually designed to issue securities called debentures. Uh, unlike your normal ETF, they're actually structured as collective investment schemes. This one is structured as a company. Now, the question will be w w w why it's actually issuing a debenture and not a participate interest. So the answer to that is that um, given that it's actually designed to, um, to track the commodities and in terms of the JSC listed requirement is that each and every ETF that we have must be physically backed by gold. So if the, the structure of the, of the ETF is such that it makes the investor a direct owner of commodities, it makes the investor then actually not in compliance, uh, not to be in compliance with the Precious Metals Act, which does not allow an individual to own gold beside uh, um, uh, Kruger rent. So we sat and said, okay, in order to come up with a structure that is going to actually allow investors to have an access to commodities without breaching the rules and actually give different kind of investors access beside just institutional. So we need to actually structure the net dimension in such a way that the company itself actually is the one that owns gold because it's actually it's a licensed dealer in commodities. But then it actually gives investors, a, a, I mean, some sort of participation in ownership of gold by actually holding a debenture. <laughs>